Bielsa, obviously, yeah. he was different in terms of the way he was with players and you never had that, like, until we got promoted, there was never that one-to-one, like, you never saw him kind of just relax a little bit. He was always pushing you. He, he said to Calvin, if he had to pick one footballer to marry his daughter, he would pick him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that kind of sums it up. Who is the most popular footballer, you know, as in got the most friends, everyone loves, he's a super lad. Who's that? If you had to pull one out of your bottom. Oh, well, at Leeds or just in general? Just general, could be Leeds, could be general. Like, well, So everyone, like you go, everyone loves Tony or everyone loves, who's the oh. one everyone? I'm trying to work out who I think looks nice and fun. Kante, I always imagined, would be yeah, yeah. popular. I think everyone loves him. Is he him. nice? <laughs> um, don't know why. He seems smiley. Trying to think. Yeah. Do you know what? Calvin Phillips. Calvin Phillips, really? Uh, honestly, yeah. He's he's one of the nicest kids and like he's just, he's not even a kid anymore, but he's just like, he's always smiling. He's just a proper nice guy. Oh, Oh, get him! In. Look, do you know what? I want him. To, I want him to win his England place back now. Yeah, same. He's Not that like I did before. If you met him, he's just like. Oh, I was trying to think who'd been at Leeds and who, but it, I can't imagine anyone saying, "Oh, that Calvin's a knob." Like, it's just because it's just, I'm, he's not. Especially Calvin's off the pitch. a knob. It's a shame he's not a knob because I'd love uh, to say Calvin's a knob a lot. Yeah, what but great. He, he, honestly, he's such a good guy. Um, how good is he when you play? Because I'm always like, obviously, only footballers and really know how yeah. good. When 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 he got that move to Man City, did you go absolutely well deserved? Yeah, he deserved it. The way he was playing for us at Leeds was like, he was obviously integral to how we played. But and England. Th- and England. Yeah, and he England, was... yeah, exactly. And when he first went into England as well, he was playing slightly higher up, which, right. he, which surprised some of us at Leeds as well, but he still did well. Um, but yeah, I think it's just, it's tough for him, isn't it? Because he, he's going from being probably one of the best players at Leeds and then he's going to Man City and he's got probably one of the best players in the world in his position. Well, Rodri... Yeah, yeah, it's just like a metronome, isn't he? So he can't. There's this... not even much you can say to him. There's so much that, when he does come into the team. There's so much he's got to like. Oh, they're always going to draw comparables between them. It's because oh, as an England fan, I was like, I just when we went into that world, uh, into that is it the World Cup or yeah, the World Cup or well, the Euros, the Euros, Euros when yeah. um, Declan Rice and Phillips in the middle, and I, I have to admit, I was like, what the. F- Seriously, that was like my attitude. And then those two, I was like, just keep them fit. Please stay fit. Please yeah. stay fit for the tournament. And and I just saw that as like the future of the England, like the centre of the, the pitch, basically. And obviously, this was before of Bellingham had obviously become bananas. And yeah, he's, he's actually and, a freak. That kick that oh, kid. Un- unbelievable. But um, And then it did, as an England fan, it sort of broke my heart that he then wasn't playing regularly. So as a as a player, do you, you know, like having got to that in England, do you reckon he's kind of thinking, shit, I've I've lost my because he will have lost his place a bit because his Southgate's always said he wants to play people playing regularly and on form yeah. and all that. Do you think he's I know you can't speak for him, but if you're in that situation, because obviously playing for England is must be like, wow. I think you know, that yeah, then He's obviously going to look at what, what can I do to get back playing, and whatever that means for him. Um, maybe a, maybe a move at some point. Do you think? Yeah, I, oh, I, I mean, know I can't speak for him, but if you if you're in his position, would you? Yeah, because do you know what? This is the perfect thing. You know when players say, "Are not players?" Sorry, when um, like people like with the pub general public say, um, "Oh, he's just be happy because he's getting paid an absolute fortune." Like there is no way you cannot. Doesn't matter how much you get paid, you cannot be happy sitting on a bench or not playing. No. So I think it's one of them where any footballer who, especially when he's chasing to get back on the England team, yeah, like any footballer is going to choose playing over that extra bit of money. Because I always think you only get paid once a month, don't you? You've got the other yeah. thirty yeah. days 
living and it's irrelevant and yeah well i yeah i'm I'm so pleased he's lovely and mm. if you're listening calvin i sort of always thought you were um right so i think i've done oh, wait, brilliantly do you know what just just while she's touching <laughs> on that on. this sums up how nice of a guy he is and how everyone like loves him so bielsa obviously yeah. the, he was different in terms of the way he was with players and you never had that like until we got promoted there was never that one-to-one like you never saw him kind of just relax a little bit he was always pushing you he said he said to calvin if he was going to pick one person if he had to pick one footballer to marry his daughter he would pick him wow (laughs) (laughs) so that that kind of sums it up i don't know how like yeah did he then go what about what about ability would you pick me? <laughs> like, yeah. To be fair, he was no, playing all the time. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. You're a very good footballer, but more importantly, you may have my daughter's hand in marriage. I don't think anyone's ever said that about me. 